train is arriving, please stand clear of the doors and allow passengers to exit. Hello, Phoenix, Arizona. I made it here to the Valley of the Sun and about to go to Tempe right now to Arizona State. It's game day again, Cal versus ASU. And so I've made it here to Tempe, Arizona to where I'm staying tonight at this Airbnb place which is just down the street. And the guy is a ASU professor and he gave me a lot of tips about what to check out here in the Arizona State University campus area. So I'm gonna grab some lunch right now and we're gonna head over to campus. About six hours to kill until kickoff. Go Bears! Lunchtime here at Four Peaks Brewery. A beer flight, eight beers, plus extra beer. So I just finished lunch here at Tempe, Arizona. I went to the Four Peaks Brewery and pretty much had a hamburger and also their beer flight samplers. They gave me eight samplers plus their Four Peaks sampler and I couldn't even finish it. I think I drank around six of the nine. But it was some really good food, really good beer, high quality. And it was a really cool scenery. So I'm here at the ASU campus, Arizona State, and it's really one that's pretty modern, pretty new. A lot of new dorms like this one. The only downside is that it's hot. It's hot and dry, and every time I see a shade, I just rest. So I've made my way inside a building here at ASU. I'm in the science and engineering building. There's AC in here, so that means there's relief from the heat. And I'm just gonna kill some time as about four hours to kick off now. So this building that I'm at right now, it feels a lot like Evans Hall at Berkeley. I mean, here is the Department of Stats and Math, which are based here in this building. The offices, School of Mathematics and Statistical Science and the instructors, professors and walking down this path it feels a lot like Evans Hall with the white tiles the signs, the font are pretty much similar to Evans and honestly it's pretty cool just checking out another campus in the Pac-12 and what their departments are like in terms of their school settings, their students, what they have on and off campus. And so this is the School of Cosmology. So since I have some downtime right now sitting in this nice air-conditioned building on the campus of Arizona State University, I want to tell you about a goal that I've set for myself. To visit all 12 Pac-12 campuses and experience a live football and basketball game day action. Being a recent graduate of UC Berkeley, I was really fortunate to be able to witness Division I sports, most notably the Pac-12 Conference, which is a conference of champions. This meant always high quality game action, and it was a really great experience, especially for me, having season passes for both football and basketball for the last four years, and just going to all those games and seeing a lot of future professional stars, interacting with them, seeing them on campus, and just seeing the whole school come together over athletics. 
Now, I've already experienced the one in Berkeley many times since I was a student there. Stanford a few times. And tonight, you, Arizona State University football. And next month, I'll be able to experience USC. But this is a goal that I'm trying to accomplish within the next two to three years. And this is really doable because now I have time to travel on the weekends. And it's at most a two to three hour flight since Pac-12 is based on the West Coast. So this means I'll be able to travel with my Cal Bears to opposing Pac-12 universities and root on them as a proud alumni. And always, Go Bears! So that's the ASU equivalent to Campanile. This is their student union. Brand new one coming in 2017. So that's their five o'clock concert, but they have no bell tower. And this is the ASU quad. So this is like the equivalent of Memorial Glade of ASU as they have the Hayden Library downstairs and an open area of grass. And this is West Hall. Well, we're in the desert. Here's the Wells Fargo Arena, home to the ASU basketball team. It's where James Harden made his mark in college. Massive tailgates in the parking structure. All levels. Thank you. Thank you, sir. So. I'm in. It's game day. So I made my way inside Sun Devil Stadium and going to my seats right now as the game is going to start really soon. Cal vs. ASU after dark. It's a playing field for tonight. Cal vs. ASU.
Havoc. There was, there was no hole. I don't know. I don't know. It's just, it's, I got one or two or three. You know, it's all. lost 51 to 41. We had a 27-20 lead entering the fourth quarter. We had a 14 point halftime lead, 24-10. Yeah, we blew it. I mean, we made our mistakes and they capitalized, including those two interceptions in the fourth quarter. And we couldn't stop their offense second half. Sometimes it's frustrating to be a fan, especially a Cal fan. But all in all, we competed hard, played to the very end, and just came up short. It was a fun game though. I mean, great atmosphere in Tempe, Arizona here with the ASU fans. I really enjoyed this experience. But like always, go Bears, and let's beat Utah next week. Just gotta move forward. I'm frustrated, we all are. But this is what makes college football, what makes being a fan of sports such a special deal. <laughs>